Imagine that before you were even born, your path was already mapped out. There are profound and divine reasons why you were chosen to live at this very moment in history. The six reasons why the chosen are called illuminate the purpose that was set for you before you even came into the world. As Exodus tells us, Behold, I send an angel before you, to keep you by the way, and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Just as God promised to guide and protect the people of Israel to the promised land of Canaan, a place of abundance and prosperity, He also has a special plan and destination prepared for you. This place represents the fulfillment of your deepest dreams, a place where your greatest aspirations can come true. One question many people have about the concept of being chosen by God is, is everyone chosen by God? After all, if God is loving and merciful, it seems logical to assume that He would choose everyone to be part of His plan. However, the answer is that although God loves and cares for all people, not everyone is chosen in the same way. The Bible shows us examples of individuals who were specifically chosen by God to fulfill a special purpose or mission. These people received special favors and blessings and were called to serve as leaders and examples for others. It is crucial to understand that being chosen by God does not mean that someone is better or more deserving than others. It simply means that God has a unique plan and purpose for that person and has called them to fulfill that plan. It's not a question of merit or worthiness, but of God's grace. It is also important to remember that, although not everyone is chosen by God in the same way, all people are loved by Him and invited to have a relationship with Him through faith in Jesus Christ. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. This verse makes it clear that God's love and grace are available to all people, regardless of whether they have been chosen for a specific purpose or mission. Before you were born, your spirit, with the help of other, more evolved spirits, carefully prepared for this life. Together, you decided what goals you needed to achieve. Learning to control anger, overcoming pride, or facing other personal challenges. Each goal is a life mission, the priority lessons your soul has chosen to learn. Life is a classroom, and every challenge faced is a learning opportunity. Those chosen by God have a special DNA, designed exclusively for their divine purpose. They don't need external support, and are fully prepared to face adversity without fear. This revelation encourages you to eliminate fears and weaknesses, to trust fully in the Lord, and to embrace your calling with confidence and strength. Are you willing to allow God to lead you to the place He has prepared for you? Every life mission comes with challenges to be overcome by the chosen spirit. Even if it's not easy, the spirit is fully capable of accomplishing it. No mission is given to someone if they can't fulfill it. In other words, to fulfill his life mission, a person must become better. They must learn and develop qualities and skills that are useful to the spirit. No one is born 100% prepared to fulfill their life mission. The purpose of this journey is for the spirit to mature, learn, and grow. Therefore, each mission requires a person to have the potential to carry it out, as long as they develop the necessary skills and qualities. The vast majority of your missions as a chosen one are right in front of you, in the present moment, in the here and now. If they are not in your present, the choices and decisions you make will lead you to them or close to them. However, the decisive step towards fulfilling them will depend on your personal choice. To put it more simply, almost everything you experience is related to your missions as a chosen one. For example, a man dropped out of college to buy a car. His whole family said it was crazy, but he did it anyway. 
He missed the opportunity to improve his life in the future for a moment of satisfaction in the present. He didn't need to know about his spiritual path to make the decision to overcome the impulsiveness that dominated his mind. One of his missions was to fight impulsivity, wanting everything now and not being able to plant something to harvest in the future. Life in the here and now was showing him this need. It is essential to pay attention to real life. It is the greatest sign that indicates the qualities that a chosen one must develop in order to fulfill their missions. Life is a lesson. To learn and succeed, you must do what is necessary rather than constantly reconsidering your choices. When a chosen one decides on their path, such as wanting to become a lawyer and enrolling in law school, this initial decision must guide their actions. Once they have made that choice, they must commit to it, facing the necessary challenges without flinching. The obstacles that arise are opportunities for growth and self-improvement, indicating the qualities they need to develop in order to fulfill their missions. For example, Mary struggled to pursue her education. With discipline and perseverance, she graduated and advanced in her career. Her relationship with her mother was challenging and painful from a young age. As her mother grew older and became ill, Maria cared for her until her death. The discipline she developed helped her face the challenge of caring. Over time, Maria released the anger and resentment she felt towards her mother, who had been with her in previous lives. By caring for her mother in her last days, Maria resolved conflicts from many lives and fulfilled one of her missions. Her discipline was essential to this task. Without it, her anger could have driven her away from her mother, preventing her from healing those old wounds. In short, you don't need to remember the spiritual plane or know all your life missions because every moment brings challenges that are directly or indirectly related to them. Focus on the present and learn the lessons that life presents you with. In doing so, you fulfill your missions. Understanding the signs is crucial. These signs are often messages from your spirit to your consciousness. To understand these signs, remember that you are more than just your current life. You possess the accumulated wisdom of many lifetimes. Your spirit is constantly interacting with your mind and body, trying to guide you. The challenge is to allow this wisdom to influence your decisions. If you listen to your spirit, recognizing these signs becomes easier. If you remain disconnected or confused, it will be more difficult to notice them. There are various types of signs that the Chosen can experience. For example, you may suddenly remember someone. Often these memories are stimulated by your spirit to encourage you to reconnect with that person. You may also feel an inexplicable sense of well-being or discomfort around certain people. These are just a few examples of the countless types of stimuli, as the spirit constantly influences your body, feelings, sensations, and intuitions. Through this guidance, your spirit directs your life towards the situations you need to fulfill your missions. Couples who plan to get together during this lifetime, a plan made in the spiritual realm, can meet among thousands of people. When they see each other, their spirits nudge their consciences to come closer. The spirit carries the blueprint of your life mission and will continually urge you towards it. However, whether these stimuli turn into action depends on your conscience and choices. This highlights the importance of learning to listen to your spirit. Ultimately, your conscience has the final say. For example, your spirit may encourage you to get close to someone in order to fulfill a life mission, but your conscience decides whether you should get involved or go for another beer. The spirit provides signs, hints, interests, and feelings but the decision is yours. This is the essence of free will. The most powerful signs are the potentials within you, which can be developed or remain dormant. These potentials are the skills and qualities cultivated in past lives, which, if stimulated, can blossom quickly. Leadership, patience, 
risk perception, and many other attributes, may lie within you as latent potentials. Each chosen one has a unique mission, full of specific and irreplaceable content, loaded with unique gifts and potentials that only they can develop. Although it may seem like a personalized task, discovering and fulfilling your soul's mission has aspects that apply to all the chosen ones. Each chosen one has hidden gifts that can and should be brought to the surface during their lifetime. When used well, these gifts can greatly increase a person's fulfillment and joie de vivre. However, even after discovering certain gifts, many chosen ones still fail to focus on what really matters, the evolution of consciousness and a lifestyle aligned with the values of the soul. Many who question their purpose on Earth begin to feel one of the first signs of misalignment with their mission, a sense of emptiness. This feeling often brings anguish, frustration, and discouragement, creating what is known as the Five Effect. The Grade Five Effect describes those who go through the motions of life, paying bills and being good citizens, but without the joy and motivation that come from living a purposeful life. These individuals often lack the energy to start new projects or inspire others. The reason for this is a lack of focus on a lifestyle aligned with the values of the soul. Evolving is the most important aspect of your existence. Focus on improving your consciousness by healing negative traits, such as anger, fear, sadness, resentment, pessimism, intolerance, aggression, criticism, control, isolation, and self-blame. Read books, take courses, seek therapy, and join specific groups, but never neglect the priority of healing your negative thoughts and emotions. Understand that you are 100% responsible for yourself. No one else is responsible for your happiness, and you are not responsible for anyone else's. Roll up your sleeves and get on with it. Roll up your sleeves and move forward with the desire to make a difference. Even if you don't know what you're doing, or if you're on the right path, the enthusiasm for finding your way will naturally take you there, because this movement follows natural laws. You won't get anywhere if you don't value who you are and what you have now. Avoid complaining, criticizing, or wasting time regretting what you don't have or haven't achieved. Gratitude and focus on your goals are magic ingredients that will increase your inner energy for achievement. The key is to be in order to have. Focus on becoming what you seek in order to achieve your goals. Instead of trying to acquire material possessions or external validation, develop your inner qualities and values. Cultivate the habit of daily reflection. Take time out every day to silence external noises and calm your mind, allowing you to hear the voice of your soul. Internally, in the depths of your consciousness, you will find the right answers for every situation in your life. Every day, close your eyes for 10 minutes and mentally ask yourself questions aimed at understanding how your soul feels about the way you are living your life. Some questions to consider are, am I in the right place in the world? How much effort do I put into being accepted by those around me? Is it necessary? Am I acting correctly? What is the size and quality of the legacy I have built in this life? What have I done for the world that I can be proud of? Do I like who I've become? What do I intend to start doing right now to improve my life and the world? You can only change the world by starting with yourself. You can't change in others what you haven't changed in yourself. Teach by example. Be the example. If you want more harmony, achieve it within yourself first. If you want others to have more love, patience, and forgiveness, incorporate these qualities yourself. Today's world is designed to prevent people from thinking, reflecting, and living according to a purely materialistic and linear pattern of behavior. Limit your TV viewing, avoid reading trivia, and don't blindly follow the crowd. 
If you do, you will be consumed by the collective unconscious. Maintain discipline in essential matters. Over time, everyone discovers values they can't live without. Identify these values in your life and pay close attention to them. We all have areas in our lives that are strategic, so map them out and develop an action plan to ensure that they are well organized. Living your best life is a consequence of aligning your lifestyle and behaviors with these principles. In doing so, your unique gifts and talents will naturally emerge, inspiring you to undertake new ventures. However, remember that you can't be truly happy with your talents if you don't know how to apply the fundamental principles mentioned above. Your actions as a chosen one in this life affect your next life and vice versa. By following your mission on Earth and helping others, you are creating good karma for yourself, which means that you will be rewarded with positive experiences in your future life. On the other hand, if you engage in negative actions, you create negative karma that can impact your future life. As a chosen one, it is essential to remain aligned with your purpose. You believe in God, the creator of the universe, and you are not ashamed of this because you have experienced God. You work with God to bring light to earth. God's spirit lives in you, and you act according to God's will in every situation. Your eyes are open, and you can see the bigger picture, knowing that everything happens in divine order and that there is a purpose behind everything. You are a light worker on earth, with a mission to be the light and love needed in the world. You know in your heart that this light work is what you should be doing. Because of the very important work you have been assigned, you are divinely guided and protected at all times. As a chosen one, you have nothing to fear. Nothing will harm you. As a chosen one, you are a highly sensitive person with keen senses. You feel the energies and emotions of others deeply, but that doesn't mean you're weak. There is nothing weak about you. You were born an empath because that is how you will best fulfill your mission. You can sympathize and empathize with anyone by feeling what someone is going through. That's strength. You love helping and caring for others, and that is your greatest strength. You have deep compassion for others and genuinely want to help them. Even if helping someone means giving something of yourself, you do it because you know you'll be fine. You always are. You are a very generous giver, and when you do good with your right hand, your left hand never knows about it. You're perfectly fine being anonymous about your generosity. You are highly intuitive, relying heavily on your inner wisdom and divine guidance. You don't do anything without consulting God first. You connect with your higher self and spirit guides all the time, listening to them as they guide you. The world is desensitized and may make you feel that your sensitivity is a weakness or a curse. But this is far from the truth. Your sensitivity is your superpower. Because of your sensitivity and how desensitized the world is, you may not fit into modern society. The way you see life is very different from those around you. That's why they don't understand you and they shouldn't. You are the chosen one. You must understand yourself. You are different. While everyone else takes the familiar road, you take a completely different turn. While people run through the wide gate, you enter the narrow gate that leads to life love and light. Don't settle into the world. Don't follow the crowd and always stay outside the herd. From the outside, you can guide them better. You possess the gift of spiritual intuition, a deep sensitivity to perceive and understand the energies around you. This talent allows you to pick up messages and signals that often go unnoticed by others. Your intuition is an internal compass that guides your decisions and actions, helping you to follow the right path and avoid negative situations. With this gift, you can discern the truth and identify people's hidden intentions, which is key to protecting yourself and others. 
You also have the talent of empathy, the ability to feel and deeply understand other people's emotions and experiences. This gift allows you to offer genuine comfort and support, connecting with others on a deep emotional level. Your empathy makes you an excellent advisor and friend, able to offer words of wisdom and consolation when needed most. Through your empathy, you are able to create strong and meaningful bonds, promoting emotional healing and harmony in relationships. Another gift you possess is the ability to heal. You have a healing touch, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, which relieves pain and promotes well-being. This talent can manifest itself in various ways, such as through the laying on of hands, words of encouragement, or simply your reassuring presence. Your ability to heal is a divine gift that allows you to help people recover from trauma and find inner peace. With this gift, you bring light and hope to those who are suffering. You are also gifted with a deep inner wisdom, an intuitive and experienced understanding of spiritual truths and life. Your wisdom comes not only from acquired knowledge, but from a direct connection with the divine. This talent makes you a born spiritual guide, able to offer valuable guidance and insights. Your wisdom lights the way for those who are lost or searching for answers, helping them to find purpose and meaning in their lives. You possess the talent of resilience, the ability to face and overcome adversity with strength and grace. This gift allows you to maintain faith and hope, even in the most challenging of times. Your resilience inspires those around you, showing that it is possible to overcome obstacles and emerge stronger and wiser. With this talent, you serve as a living example of courage and determination, encouraging others to persevere on their own journeys. You also possess a remarkable capacity for leadership. This talent manifests itself in your ability to influence and inspire others to follow a path of spiritual and moral growth. Your leadership is based on example and integrity, which makes people trust you and follow your lead with conviction. With this gift, you can bring groups together and guide them, helping them to achieve common goals and overcome collective challenges. Another talent you possess is spiritual creativity. Your mind is capable of conceiving innovative ideas and creative solutions to complex problems. This gift is not limited to the arts, but extends to all areas of life, allowing you to see opportunities where others see obstacles. Your spiritual creativity helps you find unique ways to fulfill your mission, adapting to different situations and needs with flexibility and inventiveness. You also have the gift of communication. Your ability to articulate thoughts and feelings in a clear and inspiring way makes you an effective messenger of spiritual truth. With your words, you can touch hearts, transmit knowledge, and motivate positive action. This talent is crucial for sharing your experiences and wisdom, helping others to understand and embrace their own spiritual journeys. Compassion is another fundamental gift you possess. Your ability to feel and show genuine love and kindness towards others creates an environment of acceptance and support. Your compassion allows you to see beyond people's flaws and difficulties, recognizing their intrinsic value and potential. This gift strengthens your relationships and fosters a spirit of community and solidarity. You possess the gift of unshakable faith. This talent is the foundation of all your other gifts, providing you with the spiritual strength and confidence to follow your path, regardless of the obstacles you may face. Your faith is a constant source of hope and motivation, allowing you to maintain a positive and resilient outlook, even in the most difficult circumstances. With this gift, you are able to inspire and strengthen the faith of those around you, helping them to find their own path of connection with the divine. Although you have important missions to fulfill, you may not yet have discovered your true purpose, gifts, and talents. The journey of self-knowledge and discovering your divine purpose can be long and full of challenges. Even with the personal and collective transformations that are an essential part of your mission, 
you may still be in the process of understanding the impact you can have on the world. Perhaps you feel an inner restlessness, or a sense that you are destined for something greater, but you can't clearly identify what it is. This process of discovery can be gradual, requiring patience, reflection, and spiritual searching. The ability to heal deep wounds and promote reconciliation is within you, but you may not yet recognize this gift in yourself. You may be busy dealing with your own challenges and traumas without realizing that you have the power to help others find healing. Often, it is through your personal experiences of overcoming that you begin to realize your ability to heal and inspire those around you. As a spiritual guide, you possess an inner wisdom and light that can illuminate the path of many. But perhaps you don't yet see yourself in this way. Self-perception and confidence in your role as a spiritual guide can take time to develop. You may need support and guidance to recognize the depth of your wisdom and the importance of your role in other people's lives. Despite the challenges and trials that are part of your mission, you are still in the process of strengthening your faith and commitment. The discovery of your divine purpose is an ongoing journey, and each step along the way helps reveal more about the mission you are destined to fulfill. With perseverance and openness to spiritual guidance, you may eventually discover the fullness of your mission and the transformative impact you can have on the world. You're just passing through. Keep a free spirit. You are here to create a new world, and when your work is done, you will go to where your spirit originates. The spirit acts to ensure that you fulfill your life missions, guiding you along the path you need to tread. In order to follow this path, it is essential to develop qualities and skills, as well as utilizing your personal potentials. These qualities and skills are honed through everyday life experiences. If you learn the lessons that life wants to teach you and remain faithful to your initial decisions, you will inevitably strengthen and develop the qualities needed to succeed in your missions. Your life missions are right in front of you. They are present in the challenges you face on a daily basis. They are also evident in the signals you receive from your spirit and from life. Pay attention to these signs and have the courage to become a better person with every challenge you encounter. If you're still around, you're part of the loyal circle of wisdom seekers. Through your support, I can continue creating videos and passing on enlightening knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like it and comment if this video resonated with you. Thank you for being part of this community. I wish you a life filled with abundance. May you receive abundant blessings today.